ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the Myla shock absorbers used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Loosen the rear wheel studs. To change the back shock absorbers on your vehicle, you need to remove the wheels to gain full access to the suspension system. Lift the rear of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Open the boot and lift up the floor. With a socket wrench and a 16mm socket, unscrew the upper holding screw on the shock absorber. Then remove the screw. Using a 10mm socket, unscrew the holding screw on the lower plastic protection. Then using a fork, remove the plastic rivet on the protection to be able to shift it. Brush the lower shock absorber's retaining screw, then spray it with penetrating oil. With a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the lock nut holding the lower part of the shock absorber. Remove the lower part of the shock absorber. You can now extract the shock absorber. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You can find the Myla parts and products used in the video through the link in the description. Take the new shock absorber. Before installing the new shock absorbers, it is necessary to prime them by pressing the shock absorber rod vertically so that the gas and the hydraulic fluid are separated. Put the new shock absorber in place by its lower part. Start to screw the nut in a little. Tighten the top screw until it makes contact. To avoid damaging the silent blocks, you must tighten the screws holding the rear axle in the vehicle on the ground position. Lift the rear axle with a jack. Once pressure is applied, tighten the bolt again. Then finish tightening the lower bolt using a Torx spanner. Finish tightening the upper screw with a Torx wrench. Remove the jack. Put the plastic protection back in. Screw in the lower plastic protection. Then lock it with a rivet. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your car back on the ground Plug the wheel securely. A 
Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.